Hey guys, so back again, and but today we're gonna make a circumcenter for an obtuse triangle. So let's get it on with this, shall we? So we have to make the triangle. So let's make one like let's make one like this. So now we have our points A, B, and C, of course. So now we have to find the you have to find the midpoints for each line, line A, C, C, B, and B, A. So we have a tool for that, of course, which is right here. So then the midpoint for A, C is going to be right here, point D. Midpoint for C, B is going to be right there, for, and that is going to be point C, E. Then the midpoint for A, B is going to be right there. It's going to be point F. So now I have to make the perpendicular bisectors to AC that go through point D. So then we'll do this. Make the lines. Right there, there, and there. Now, now since, once again, since this is a perpendicular bisector, since it bisects the line, so we'll use point D. Since D is the midpoint for AC and also bisects AC, this would then make it so that AD and CD would be congruent. So let's go ahead and write that down or draw it more or less. This also applies at every other midpoint. So E for BC. So it's that. and F for AB. I'm not the best. And, but also, since D, line D, or line F, right there, since line F bisect is a perpendicular bisector to AC, we should also create a right triangle right here and right here. So, right there, and right there. So, this, and that also applies to every other one. So, let's draw it right there. And draw it right there. See the triangles? Now, onto the circumcenter, which is the point of concurrency or the intersection of three lines of the perpendicular bisectors, which is going to be right there. So we're going to put the circumcenter where both, all three of them connect, being right there. And so that's going to be point G. And that's the circumcenter for the subtuse triangle, right there, if you can't see it. That's about it. So we'll see you next time, I guess.